What is up, everybody? This is Angry World Cup Gaming here, back with another episode of the Infinite Go Battle Career Mode, and we're back with season number three, our last season of the series. Yes, I have confirmed this will be the last season, as I plan to win Champions League by the season. Now, in this episode, I mean, this literally is going to be literally transfer day, um, you know, transfers transfers this is basically a transfer day episode you know so once we do this episode we're just gonna be doing transfers after transfers after transfers after transfers so that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode so first off yes i'm gonna be doing some signings and this episode and do some selling as you guys just saw i just put someone in the transfer list now i am planning to put somebody else in the transfer list now he's like a probably a quarterly play quarterly player but here's the thing i have too many what I mean, too many, too many, literally midfielders in this like team, you know. So like, we literally have, oh, wait, I don't have too many, but I have too many that are like, you know, prospects, you know. Um, but the one I have to get rid of one, right? If I had to get rid of one, well, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to get rid of possibly Tyler Adams. Now here's the thing, he's playing center defending mid. I don't have anybody playing center defending mid. He's got to go. He's got to go to a season. If we don't get get rid of him, we don't. So we have, look at our budget. We have the money, 114 mil. We don't have any free transfers. We don't have anything like that yet, yet. So today's episode is Friday, episode 22, 21. It's going to be like this. So first off, we're not playing preseason. We're only playing like when we get into like some cup, cups and stuff like that. So... Yes, yeah, so how much can we get for him? 24000 I'm going to go for that 24000 Maybe we go for more money for Nunez because Nunez wants to leave, and I, I do want him to go. Maybe we can get ourselves a new center back or something like that. We're going to have to find ourselves a backup goalkeeper because if, if let's say, Unai Simon gets injured, what can we do with that injury, you know? What can we do for that injury? So, oh, fuck. Um, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. But... Yeah, so the injury injuries are kind of important to me. I don't like injuries. Y'all should know this. I do not. I dislike them really much. All right, so when we remove this release clause, I want 21. You know what? We'll go for the 21 500 because we need more money. I want him to kind of overpay for Nunez. We're not going to because Nunez has been unhappy for a while, and we really don't use Nunez. I would bring in Kuna, but I don't want to. I'm, I'll probably think about it, but, you know, I don't even have anybody in mind right now. You know, Kodra, Kodra has not, you know, he's not really improved, all right? It's like, that's my decision with Kodra. Left winger, we're going to need a new left winger because I'm I'm deciding to put Kodroba back, go into to the, um, to the bench. That is my plan with Kodroba. I plan to put him in the bench, and I'm planning my midfielder. I think, like, if we get rid of Adams, we can have more time for probably Sansit, right? And we're going to need a new goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper, blah, 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 yeah, getcha. All right, so that's how it's going to work. This episode, I'm going to try to do a lot of transfers, as a matter of fact, because these transfers are going to need it. We're going to need these. Uh, I, I am going to keep Martin because, you know, he's going to be good. I, I promise you by that. By the end of the season, he has to be at 77. I'm going to be training him this season. Uh, Chong, we're, we're planning to keep him control. Okay, so let me see. The people, oh yeah, we got to put in Chumi from the bench. So Chumi is going to play in. Adams, he's got to go. Yede, I plan on making him leave, but at the same time, I don't want him to leave. But you know we'll put him in the we'll put him in the game. Uh, wait, can he? What, what positions can he play? He can play. He can play center back. What about you, center back? Who was injured? Yeah, you're injury prone. I cannot have that. Nunez, he's going to leave. Like I said, Ezekita. I'm planning to keep him. It's just I need a new goalkeeper, like a little better, little like you know in the seventies. If you guys know what I mean, you know. So first off, I'm gonna look for some goalkeepers like so from so like. Not really popular teams, but like in the lower, lower leagues, you know. So I'm gonna go to Spain, right? But there is the team I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Granada. Uh, we're gonna see what goalkeepers they got. Aaron, I would bring him, but I don't know. This guy, Jal Costa, Jal Costa looks uh interesting. Let me see what his overall is, and then we're going to Costa. Uh, Jal Costa is uh, all right. 
He is a 70, 60. He could be a 66 or higher. Okay, I got you. Rui Silva. Rui Silva. You're telling me... Alright, you know what? Rui Silva is going to be our backup goalkeeper. I like this. Uh, this is He actually has decent as potential. Decent potential. Uh, we could bring... We got, we got some... Why do we have... Did we lose some money? We probably lost some money. We did. How did we lose some money? Oh no no no! We didn't lose money. We were asking for money, right? Our Vincent. I I don't know about Vincent. If we don't bring in a left winger by this season, I'm probably gonna go with you know one for the next transfer window. The next one, you know, in the next transfer window. So first off, let's do some training. Let's you know get that training up. Um. Like I said, Martin, I'm going to train him so we can, like, get a better, a little better into our striker position. Because if we get a little better into our striker position, then we should be good, right? Um, let me see. Wingers, I would want to bring Cordoba up just to, you know, get him up. We're going to bring in Chong up, or should I sell Chong by this season? I'm thinking about selling Chong. I mean, he's not really been improving, but I'm going to just keep him. He's going to be a bench player anyways. I, I don't know what I'm going to really do with him in the future. Uh, really, Chong has not really improved or anything, but I want to bring him into that 80 overall status. Chumi is another person I want. Oh no, you're not you, Yere. Yere, I kind of want to sell Yere, like I said in the last episode. But uh, here's the thing: he is a good, decent backup center back. So, you know, what is the purpose of getting rid of Yere if we have him? So, all right, so let's simulate this game against Lasister. I would like to do a, a, another England team. I did do the full ham one, but it, we didn't really do anything much in the full ham career mode because we only ha only did one season. As we just sold Nunes, good for us. All right, so that's one transfer. Now, like I said, I am trying to bring in Rui Silva. Rui Silva, we could probably get him for cheaper. So let's try to bring him in for like, you know, the cheaper we can get him for. We don't know his overall or anything, but it's going to be good. It's going to be Gucci. So he's 14,500. Uh, I'm gonna go with 14,500 as well. Well, actually, let's go six. We'll go 15,000. Can we bring him in for 15,000? They want 19,000. All right. So you know what? I'm gonna bring him in for six, seven, seventeen thousand five hundred. Maybe we can bring Roy Silva in. No, they want. They're asking for more. They're literally asking for more. All right. So let's actually ask for. I'm going with 8, 18,000. Let's go with 18,000. Just as simple as that. I'm not going over 20,000. They're wanting 19,900. So they want a little bit less. But I'm going to just go with that 900, 19,000. Pure 19,000. They're going to accept that. So Silva might be coming to us. Let's actually simulate a couple days and see. Maybe if we can get uh, something better. Uh, Let's see. All right. Bam. All right. What is it? Um... Looking forward. Okay, so we're going to have to do it. So, Rui Silva. Can we bring him in from Granada? Granada's going to need a new goalkeeper. He's probably not high, but Unai Simon is good, right? I want to make him our backup goalkeeper. Sporadic, that's what I'm planning to do. Because we're going to have a, a sporadic goalkeeper. We're not going to have another... Uh, we're going to have him for... I'll put five years because it really wouldn't matter if we're going to... After this season is our final season. Really, really wouldn't matter. Silva. Alright. So we're going to accept the release clause thingy. Now that's done. I like to discuss the salary. So I want to I want to give him at least 70000 will be It'll be fair for him. Better wage. Better offer. Bam. Really? Silva has signed 80 overall. I like this. We Silva. We signed him from Granada. What else do you have to expect? There you go. So we have ourselves a new backup goalkeeper, which I enjoy having. Um, now, Akano. Ooh, I don't really want. I don't know about Yeti though. I think I'm gonna re. I wanna recontact or Yeti, and maybe we can get a different um contract for him. And if we do that, we could probably. We could probably, you know, I don't know. We could do something with Yere if we get a different contract with him. Oh, this is by age. So Yere, he plays important. So what happens if I delegate? He still wants to put important. So I'm going to reject this because I kind of don't want to put him as important. That's the thing. Because I kind of want Upkano to still play as well, you know. So, but, you know, Laku, Laku, ah, Laku, we put him on loan last season, I'm gonna probably reject this. Okay, there, so he did get a transfer from, uh, 
Santos from Brazil. I know that's in Brazil. Um, but yeah, I guess. So the, he wants to fill in a role. All right. So first off, let me look into the squad. So what do we need? We, we probably so we get we're good enough. Kano. I think Chung will be good. Chumi probably will need some time to regress, or maybe we'll. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with Chumi, but I'm gonna keep him in the bench just in case. Adams, we're gonna have to get rid of him, so we're gonna need a. Um, we're gonna need a backup midfielder. I'm gonna look for some star potential, a left winger. We need a backup left winger. I don't know who we want. I mean, that's not backup, but a new left winger. I mean, I would like to bring in Gareth Bale, 82 overall for like a backup, but that's. <sighs> Who's a right winger? That's Trent Cowan. I think we're good with Trent Cowan. I mean, I don't know. I would like to bring him in. So I'm going to just put Gareth Bale into this transfer list. Just in case, maybe if we need Gareth Bale, we'll bring in Gareth Bale from Real Madrid. Y'all feel me? All right. So first off, I'm going to go for a right winger. But I'm going to go for... I'm going to go in Germany for one. Let me see. I'm not right winger. A left winger. I'm going to go in Germany for one. Uh, Maybe we could find someone in Dortmund if we can. Memphis Depay, I like to sign him uh, one of these in the future for a future. I mean, he might go to Barcelona. I'd be, I'm gonna be proud. I'm gonna be proud. All right, left wingers. So they don't got any left wingers there, but I'm gonna just put in the whole Germany Bundesliga. Let's hope we find a left winger. Okay, so Cooley Bailey. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not really gonna. I don't know. Zakini? No. So they don't got anything really. Spectacular. So Italy, hmm, Braca Barco, uh, Barco could be good, but I want like a star. You know, I don't know any left wingers from the top of my head. If you tell me right now, I seriously don't know. But uh, I'm gonna just keep looking. Uh, maybe we'll look for France. Maybe, maybe we can get for freaking Mbappe. Uh, no, Mbappe, Neymar. I <laughs> got Neymar. For eleven thousand, I'm not gonna be paying for Neymar. I mean, it's the last season, so we can literally go all out or something like that. But I don't know. I, I don't know. All right. So we're going to keep looking. We're going to go to England this time. We're going to see how we can get something from the left winger position. Dembele would actually be a good transfer. Jauk. Ooh, I would like to sign Diago Jota maybe. I think I could go with this this deal right there. Diago Jota. We'll think about him though. I, will, I could bring in Martinelli again. But what's the purpose if we had him in the last one? Christian Pulisic is another one. Pulisic and then we got Jota but Pulisic is younger so I might go with Pulisic I'm gonna just put him in the transfer list Vincius Jr a site I will never see in Manchester United so hold up so if we do this all right so let me um let me do something first off let's try to bring in Pulisic from Chelsea a you know it's kind of a best best for us if we do this you know we can bring him from Chelsea uh, go from there. He can go from Athletic Bilbao. Blah blah blah. All right. So first off, we're gonna offer for a forty thousand. Now at the fifty thousand, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna want more money. Fifty two thousand. I'm down to do this deal. We're bringing Christian Pulisic from Chelsea. Yo, it's gonna be a good deal. I really hope wish that he went to Arsenal or something like that. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. All right. So bringing in Pulisic would be a really good thing. So. What should we make? What should make him important? Maybe he'll want this important. Yes, because I'm gonna probably like switch him up with Cordoba every like once in a while. Him and Cordoba will be switching roles once in a while. So like that's probably what I'm gonna do. He wants a release clause of 109 mil, which I'm gonna deny because we're gonna really need him into the this one. All right, Pulisic. Uh, we're gonna put in to 130. No, no, no. I don't want to really rig him off because he's literally getting paid more on Chelsea. So we're just gonna offer the same wages he got from Chelsea. And bam, we have just signed Christian Pulisic from Chelsea. Yep, that's the first transfer. I'm, 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 I'm down with that transfer. Look at our overall. It's still a 66, but I don't even know. We could prove it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start Pulisic over Cordova. For this, for like the next couple games, so we gotta have Cordoba in the bench. Tyler Adams, like I said, I'm hoping to sell, but you know nobody really wants Adams, and uh maybe we could get something better for Chumi. But but like I said, Yeti is good as well. But maybe we'll if I get an offer and he wows me, then we'll sell him. You understand? Okay. So first off, um, let me look at our target. So I want to get my overall up. I don't want to get relegated. Um, reach the final, we can do that. Win the Liga, win the quarterfinal. 
Sign okay, so I don't do anything Yump Up Academy related, so we should we're probably gonna be in 66 for a while. Anyways, let's simulate this game against OL and we take the win 3-0. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Alright, so we're in the semifinals. Relief class play for Katrora. I really could care less since I'm planning to sell him. Let's try to get there's these overalls up and Chong is slowly going up. I'm thinking about selling Sansip, but it's the thing. I wanted to sell a midfielder because I want to bring in some, you know, wingers and stuff. So look, there's a first one and Real Madrid are the ones that offer for him. Maybe if we are lucky enough, maybe we can get more money. Okay, so let's not sell him less than 55000 Yes, I want more money, and I'm hoping Real Madrid are willing to pay more. If they're willing to pay more, I am down for this, because I need the money. Here's another one, Barcelona, which are offering less money, and I'm going to literally do the same thing. We're going to see which offer the he is looking better. So if Barcelona, because I know Barcelona and Real Madrid are the teams that actually have money in this, like, you know, in the whole career mode. And we have money too, don't worry, but I want more money. So we're going to be, at San City Linzer, that's probably the case. That's the reason. <sighs> I mean, we have Chung. That's another reason we like we don't need a lot of midfielders, you know. So let's put in Chung. Um, let's put in Upcano since he's getting kind of pissed off. I like to start Hermoso because Hermoso is pretty good. I like having him into the team. Sansa's is injured, but I don't think it's a long injury, so we should be good. Yeah. Chung is a 78 overall. I get it. Chung is probably low. I feel like I should have sold him over Adams, but I, I, you don't know. Uh, and he has been sold for... Okay, so we sold King Kodra. Uh, let's keep on going and simulating this and see if we can do anything better. Manchester United beat Arsenal 2-1. Okay, I didn't ask. Okay, Athletic Bilbao versus Man United. And we win, and Mario Hermoso is injured. That kind of is kind of good. At the same time, it is not player. So they're willing to pay 60 mil for. Okay, so that's a good offer. I want to wait for Barcelona's offer, though. So if Barcelona offered them more money, then I'm going to have to go with Barcelona. If Real Madrid offer more money, we're going to go with Real Madrid. So I'm hoping Barcelona could offer me something better. And is it that? No, like who gets another offer? We're not going to offer him. Um, no way. Um, we're going to offer, we're going to wait, uh, till Friday. See if anything, Barcelona. So Barcelona are literally offering a little bit more. Maybe we could get more money from Real Madrid. All right, I'm gonna ask Real Madrid for at least seventy thousand. I'm hoping we could get seventy thousand off this guy. So if we could get over seventy thousand over Tyler Adams, then that would be really good. So let's offer literally seventy thousand. If they don't accept this offer, it is over sixty-five thousand. But Barca are still kind of offering more. So I'm gonna literally ask for the same thing again. Once again, how about yeah, we're gonna offer seventy thousand. Take him or leave him. Real Madrid are willing to pay 70. All right. You know what? Barcelona, I'm going to ask you guys as well. What are you willing to pay? <laughs> what are you guys willing to pay for Tyler Adams? Are you willing to pay more than what me Real Madrid literally just offered me? 70,000. But will they pull? How about they pay 73,000? And we could talk deal and de And get the fuck out of here. And get the fuck out of here. You... You know the you know Real Madrid are willing to get him, but Barca was like, "Now nah, we're cheap. We're just gonna go and just get my ass out of here. Get out!" I said, "Get out!" All right, we're gonna reject this offer though. Uh, so I guess Tyler Adams will be going to Real Madrid. Interesting side to go to. I think I might bring in Bale. I think I'm gonna do that. Probably. We'll see how it goes. Um, Martin went up as overall. He's a 74. I like this. Good job for Martin. Chong is still at a 79. Chumi is a 71. I don't know what to really say about that. But, hey, uh, things happen. Things happen. Adams has been sold to Real Madrid. That is an offer I will never freaking... I will never even see the Real Madrid go for a U from a guy from the United States. 
They just did though. They just literally did that and uh pretty shocking. Alright, first off, like I said, this Gareth Bale, should we bring in Bale from Real Madrid? I'm thinking it might be a tra transfer deadline, like you know, last minute. Look at this squad now. Um, so I have Cordoba in the bench, which is all right. Maybe wait, can he play anything? What can Pulisic play? Can Pulisic play? He could play left mid. Yo, we could probably put Pulisic in here, and then you know what? We can actually start Pulisic as well. I kind of like this. And Wolf could play. Uh, I mean, it could go like this, but I don't know about that. Um, Yede is kind of pissed off, so we'll put in Yede for Mario Hermoso since injuries happen. Um, I mean, technically, so what we have is Chong, we have Martin, we have Chumi, I still forgot we had Vezga, so we're gonna put Vezga out here, and the coup, and then we have Silva. We're still gonna need more transfers, though. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm technically willing to bring in Bale, but look at the money we got. Well, we kind of made up the money we just wasted, right? So, what should we bring in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could bring you a backup left back. I mean, we do have one, but do we have a right back? We might need to bring in a right back. We have Laku, but I do not want to use Laku at the end. At the you know, after all of this, I don't even feel like using Laku at all. So I'm going to go with a right back from. Let's go to Premier League and maybe we'll see something. Max Aaron's. Ah, Max Aaron's. Okay. So, I don't know about Max Aaron's. So, FIFA. Okay, you know what? You know what, Max Aaron's? You're in my list. You're in my list. Conti, we could bring him back from AC Milan. I like to do that. I'm going to, I probably, I'm, you know what? I'm going to bring in Max Aaron's. Let's see how it goes. We're going to bring in Max Aaron's if it works. It probably, I mean, he'll be a backup, and Jock and Stella can still play, you know, Max Aarons, because, you know, Max Aarons will be probably expensive, but I am willing to bring him in. From Chelsea, it's worth it, you know, it's a worth it, worth it deal. Remember, this episode ends once we get into, like, the first game into the season, because we're not playing a game technically in this episode. Tomorrow, I will be uploading an episode where we will play a game, all right? Tomorrow is Saturday, so I gotta do create an entire series tomorrow. Later, it's supposed to be Castle Crashers, but I don't have an episode yet, so it might not even happen. It might not even happen. I literally could have accepted this deal from Huddersfield, but I'm not going to accept it. I think I'm going to need him just in case into the future, but, you know, our, our overall is technically going up. Player returns from injury. That is good. Gabriel Jesus. Hey, whoa, 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 dude. I just see that right. Gabriel Jesus to Manchester United. Whoa there, buddy. All right, so... Max Aaron's, I haven't really gotten anything from him. So who returned from injury? I would like to see that. Both of them did. All right, but I'm not going to play them. Uh, you know what? Okay, so chew me. Get out of the bench, please. I am sorry, but Yede, you're going to have to sit out on this one. Uh, Sansa, you will put you in the bench. I'm sorry. You're going to have to sit out on this one. Yede, you could play. Martin, you're not playing Martin because look at you. You're literally a 74 overall, but I put you in the bench for a reason, right? You can probably, I only times, I feel like Martin only plays when I literally tell, like, literally, you know, literally pick him. Like, like that's probably the only times this man has literally played. Um, I'm probably going to negate this deal right here. So, let's go through that quickly. As a uh, sporadic, let's make him a sporadic player like he wanted to. So he wants to be sporadic, which I am down to do, but I'm going to still put him in the bench. I'll put him in the five-year contract. You know, Martin, I think Martin could be something good if we, like, you know, do something. All right, so we'll accept this deal, release clause, and then he wants this for the bonus, I guess. I mean, it's not that much money, but I feel bad for Martin, you know? He really deserves more money. I don't know, but, like, he deserves it. All right, so let me, uh... Let me try to train Chumi a little bit. Maybe if Chumi is all right. I mean, a 75 overall for Chumi would actually be good for me, in my opinion. I'd like to see Chumi as a 75, at least by the end of the series. That's probably what I like to do, if it's possible. Yede is transfer offer from Yede to Dortmund. How much can we get off him? 36,000? I think I'm going to have to accept this deal. I guess. I mean... 
Because look, Yeti, it's going to be so difficult just to start up Kano and then Yeti. Yeti is so annoying, in my opinion. Arsenal are willing to pay $100 million to Zaniolo. And I'm going to reject that deal because I need Zaniolo. And I know Zaniolo is going to win me a Champions League by this season. And then, bam! This is where the episode's going to end, guys. Um, I guess it's not going to end. Uh, like this, but hey, um, first off, Max Aaron's is worth 13,000. Okay, we could probably buy something off him. We could get him. We could get him. All right, all right, let's see what we could get off Max Aaron's. So, the real question is, can we get him off on this episode? Uh, let's offer 16,000 because he's gonna ask, they're gonna ask for more. 22,000 for Max Aaron's is it worth it? Not really. Because Max Aarons is not really, uh, I don't know Max Aarons like that, you know, I don't know how he plays, like, you know, 1919, let's go ahead and accept this, alright, so, this is the last thing, so we need Max Aarons, and we need whoever this is, I forgot who the other guy was, uh, who was next to, oh, Bale, Bale, alright, so he wants to be sporadic, but I most likely will be starting him, because he probably might be a high 70. That's probably what I think he might be. So we'll do that. Five years with us. We're going to disregard relate, uh, release clause. He wants a release clause of 41,000. Which I would like to put. But you know we need him. Uh, so I like this. I like it when they do this. Like literally they give me what they want. And then I, like, I just remove that bonus. And then welcome. Max Aaron's a 77. Another Englishman. I got another England uh, guy from England that in this episode. So here's the thing: Should we sign Gareth Bale for a backup right winger? Should we do that in, uh, next time, guys? I, I guess well, I don't know. It's all up to y'all. So yes, we just got ourselves a backup right back, right? So Upkano is gonna probably start over Yeti, and we're gonna need to look for a new center. Two new center backs, actually, matter of fact. Uh, so we're gonna need to for the next episode. I guess we're gonna need to look for two new center backs. That's what I'm probably going to say. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Athletic Bill Bow Career Mode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be a part of Angry Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to be playing um, Langanes, I guess, uh, in the next episode. Because, yeah, because I like to start my opener games. Like I like to play my opener games. So, in the next episode, we will be playing Langanes and Atletico Madrid. So, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be a part of Angry Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.